the show now. Come on. Bad black mama's gonna let you know now. Hey. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now. Come on. Let's shoot ya. Let's shoot ya. Hey. Let's shoot ya. Hey. What's up? Let's shoot ya. Let's shoot ya. Come on. Let's shoot ya. Hey. Hey, ladies. How are y'all doing today? How's it going? Yeah, happy day. Happy day. That look bright and clean. Because <laughs> we washed. <laughs> okay, I won't start, but you know what? I just want everybody to know y'all had bright, clean face. Oh, we washed our clothes too. <laughs> I'm like, we were getting ready. <laughs> very important. Very important. You know, um, right. I, I'm, I don't, I'm not a believer in uh, wearing the same clothes like consecutively, like three or four times or I might do twice because I used to do that when I work, you know what I mean? Because I didn't have a reason to take something to the dry cleaner, but you know, not the three or four times, you know, you got perfume on and, you know, just body odor on it. But okay, y'all, hygiene the Olympics. This is Jasmine's topic. And this is, um, this topic has a lot of arms to it because I think that we all going to have different perspectives, but, um, Nobody perspective is going to be overlooked and we're not here to offend anybody. I'd like to put that disclosure out right now because if you're not into the bathing thing, you know what I mean? You do you. You know what I mean? I just feel like this. You do you. But hey, Chauncey. Hey, Celeste. Hey, hey Jaslyn. So, hey, uh, Kimmy. <laughs> Jaslyn, where did you get this from? Because I know yeah. it's out there, but what, what made you want to bring it to the port? It started off as like a little jokey joke because there was like an interview that they did with um B Simone. Uh, uh, and she like and looked at Dunno where she was talking about her bathing habits, and then it just became like this huge thing, like bath gate. Like everybody was like, "Oh my gosh, she doesn't shower." So it started off as a joke, and then I went into like a rabbit hole of like racism, colonize. It was so much. Like even <laughs> from, like they were talking about stories about like Indians fighting with. You know the settlers that were like hey why why don't you shower like you know they were telling them basically they were trying to teach them hygiene because mm -hmm. they came with the thought that clean cloth was clean so it didn't matter how dirty you were <clears throat> as long as you change your garment you were clean so what? the indians were like baffled they're like wait and and, and, and and be distinctive that that was the europeans that yes. felt that way and not <laughs> the indians <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh how do i say it so nobody gets offended <laughs> Right. You said it yeah, perfectly. But it is what it is. Celeste, so you history, got a look so on you your face like it is what it is. I mean, yeah. I'm, well, and, I'm, and, and notice we're using the word shower because they didn't have that thing, yeah. right? Shower wasn't something that even came along. So we're literally talking about bathing. So there is like this whole thing like oh, showers wow. were a great invention. We're talking about baths, y'all. So when we talk historically, we're talking about baths. <laughs> so, it oh started off this joke, but you saw the videos I sent you guys. I was actually shocked. I saw like the racist ads from back in the day where they would put like the black baby in the tub and they'd scrub them and they come out white. So it was like it, I went through a whole rabbit hole and I was like, this was supposed to be like you know just a little fun thing, but it ended up being very serious. And mm -hmm. it, it is very serious. serious. You know what I mean? I think it's still it's an accent mindset. You know, I. I don't only take baths and I only have one bathtub in my house that I would use. The other one is, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just don't use that one, but I, I put one purposely in the house for just my enjoyment. You know what I mean? Cause I don't really like taking baths. Totally. You know what I, mean? I like to take mm -hmm. a bath for enjoyment or like if I don't really feel good. Um, because I always think about my little house when I was growing up at my, my grandma house first before, um, you know, Yorktown, because we lived off of A Street before we came to Yorktown. And my grandma had like the old pedestal tub, but it was more like a basin type. Y'all probably remember what that is. And mm -hmm. a basin. Yeah. my grandma was like, okay, she scrubbed you. She put a little bleach in there. She scrubbed you. She poured all that water out. And rinsed you off. And rinsed you off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And rinsed you off. Like, I, I remember looking at my toenails and like she would do the whole gamut. Like, if she saw me looking at my toenails, she was like, you don't think your toes clean? And then she would go get and scrub my toes with a scrub brush and cut my toenails and stuff. You know, cleanliness was everything. You know what I mean? And if you went outside for just one hour and you was playing with like little you age, you know? What? When you yeah. came in. Exactly. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, go take a shower, boy. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, but... um. 
I think that when you think about it racially, you know, um, Chauncey, you'll probably jump into because, you know, just different what European people think and what American people think. Um, and, and of course, you uh, you will think something different to um, Jasmine um, being Dominican. Everybody has their own concept of what they consider clean. You know what I mean? So um, I just told you mine. So Chauncey, your turn on the, on the porch. <laughs> So I came from a family, you know, I come from Southerners, you know what I mean? So Jim Crow South. So I understand the concept of them wanting to be clean because how our people were treated coming out of slavery and things of that nature. Um, but coming from a people and a tradition of just being clean, whether you're washing in the, in the ocean or whatever. So they washed a couple of times a day. However, I also know the the concept of we weren't allowed to take a shower or a bath in the morning on our way out the door. We could not bathe um, more less than an hour before going outside because my family always felt as though your pores are open, you'll be more mm -hmm. susceptible to getting mm -hmm. sick, and you definitely didn't do it in the winter time. So our routine was you took a bath at night and you just did a little bird wash in the morning and Not then the out the door. Wash. Well, <laughs> I don't want to say whole bath, but yeah. Yeah, well, I was like, it's another the thing. Bird, they didn't say that when I was little. We just said the bird bath, right? So you took the bird bath and then you did what you had to do, right? And so when you came home from school, you had your school clothes, whether that was uniform or regular clothes, you came home from school and took your clothes off and put on your play clothes. Mm -hmm. So then we also did not wash as often. And um, Jasmine, you're a lot younger than us. So when we were growing up, we wore dungarees, right? So that's what blue jeans were called. And they were of a very, very thick material. Yeah. And you did not wash them every time you wore them. Those things could be walking by themselves by the time you put them in the washing machine, especially away at college because you was broke and didn't have no money to wash your clothes that often. So when I think about all of that and then living abroad and seeing what their habits, so even living in South America, so, you know, where I was in Paraguay, we were below the equator. So the water went the opposite direction when you flushed the toilet but they didn't put their toilet paper, so you're talking the 1980s, they didn't put their toilet paper in the toilet. They put it in the trash can. They did not really? flush it because of the septic systems in that particular country. Let, let's not forget that, of course, how many times did Chauncey accidentally flush the toilet paper, <laughs> especially after a number two, but that was not their culture. And so... And then the time that I spent in Europe, you know, I, I didn't really like it in the spring and the summer because they didn't bathe the way that we bathed. They bathed, but not like we did once and twice a day. So then the smell was different. <laughs> so it was like in the winter, it's not that bad, but in the spring and summer, folks is a little tart. <laughs> it's just kind of like... Not a little like tart. <laughs> Is this why the French created perfume? Like, okay, I understand now. So, and for me, I don't use the same washcloth for my body that I use for my face. So I have two washcloths, one towel. And so, um, you know, that's my story. And <laughs> now, now I use those, um, what's some things called, Celeste? Those Ufas or Ufas? Yeah, they do. They, they I've never Aloofa. used the rag. Actually, they the bad, they're bad for you. You gotta stop. I've never like used the rag. I know they like, you know, when I've been to DR, I've seen people that had like rags and stuff. But when you go into like a black household, if you go into a shower, there's gonna be, even if you stay over several the rags, house, several. They'll leave you like a towel and a rag. And I'm like, what's this? And I'm like, I'm used to a loofah. And I was just like, even trying to teach me. And I'm like, this is a loofah and this is a washcloth. And I guess well, <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I use the poofy, you know what I mean? But I hang mine up and mine has to dry. I've used the loofah, um, but again, it has to dry. You can't leave it in the shower because by the time the whole family oh. uses the shower, it's going to stay wet and it's going to get molded. Oh. So, it, you know, molding the you need to take. <laughs> exactly. So, but I ain't never put no loofah between my legs either. So that's a whole nother story. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I use like a, um, 
I have a medical condition, but I use a a, a, a bristle brush. You know what I mean? Brush, right. Yeah, because I've a I lot of people routine. don't know. Right, and a lot of people don't know the bristle brush you're supposed to use before you actually get into the shower. So yes. you're supposed to be dry when you brushes. use it. Yeah. So they're, they literally mm -hmm. they're called dry brushes. I'm like, why do you think exactly. with yeah. me? <laughs> but they do a lot for you. They they do a lot. So less. But I have tell heard of why. these people who uh don't <laughs> bathe. Celeste, tell us why. why why? I'm sorry. I'm still trying to figure this all out. My <laughs> head is going. I, I guess I didn't really realize that everybody did stuff so different. different. I do remember when I was younger, first of all, I lived in the project, so we didn't have to worry about no water. We 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 washed all the time. It's just whenever she felt like go in there take a bath, that's what you was gonna do. Just went to the bath every time. It looked like if somebody talked about something important, it was time for a bath. So I do remember her being adamant about not taking a shower. And I remember taking a bath every night and hating a bath because you're right. You did the bath, you did the bleach, you did the rinse off. And no matter how much you try, she wouldn't let you use the bubble bath because that would help you to wash out the tub at night. But that wasn't. So oh, no. I remember sneaking, taking the bath and standing up and taking a shower because my friends were taking showers. Right. And I and that was like being a, a older person to me, taking a shower. Get this yeah, bath that was a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, that's some of the stuff them. that I did with like my grandparents and like my aunts when I was a kid. And it's true when I was like, oh, I'm grown. I'm finna, I'm finna turn this on and take it's a shower. shower. And my school stay outside. <laughs> but then I remember also the washcloth being very difficult for me to handle. And I remember her allowing me to do the washcloth, allowing me to do different things. So to this day, I wash with almost all three things. <laughs> I like three levels of wash. It's something about it. Can I just stop here? What about wash? to be, to smell good. Like, never mind who says it's clean to do one bath. If you don't smell good, you think another bath. <laughs> Isn't that a thing? <laughs> I don't know Sorry. if you guys have known this because you guys are not on social media like as much as I am, but this is an actual thing. Like I saw in one of the um, research that they I was doing. They will come for us for this one. That they, <laughs> you know what? They you know what, Auntie? We don't have to talk about it because I'm sick of it. I'm like, oh, I'm sick of this. Like, we should not, as women, have to be talking to each other. Like, okay. there. you know what I learned online? I, I don't know if this is like, t it's something called BV. That's a real thing. But the problem what? is that they're not telling you how to take care of it. They're telling you, screw whoever doesn't want to be with you because you have this. Go on, woman, do your thing. I was like, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to be a part of this movement. What's BV? Like, what's, what's BV? Boom. So it's like bacteria. Please, somebody in the comments don't know the name. It's because I can't pronounce it. Bacteria <laughs> vaginosis or something. Boom. That's what Boom. it is. Boom. That's what it is. So, okay. That's I was a like, okay. Of so it sounds like That's what it, was, it is. It was some new age stuff because I could I could pull up on my grandma and she's not going to know what that is. So I'm like, this sounds like some new thing that was made because we're not taking care of ourselves the way we're supposed to and then it's not something to be taken care of the women online are like yeah we have this we're not supposed to smell like flowers i want to smell like this yeah. oh, like, Lord. You're not okay so that brings me to this that brings okay, me to this so, so okay. i finished up my routine i i washed a couple of times you know when you get a certain age you you, you don't smell as pleasant as you want to smell i exactly. can literally do my three levels of showering in the shower and go and take a whole bath too <laughs> and go to the shower and lift my leg up <laughs> and make sure everything's okay. Because in the shower, there's yeah. different angles. You got to do your feet, you got to do your legs, right? And then you, you know, and I come out and then I can wash like I want. Squat! Wash! So, so again, so then that means that so some of us are doing it for our own our own purposes and then some of us are doing it because of what others might think of us when we do it so yeah. when you have these two different dynamics that are going on so i am a firm believer that i definitely need to take my shower at night before i go to bed because i need to wash the day off of me right mm -hmm. whereas my husband is always in the mindset as soon as he comes in, well, he's retired now, but when he was working, as soon as he stepped foot in the door, he goes into the shower, puts on his 
evening clothes, whatever you want to call them, and then he's set for the rest of the evening. Whereas I always have the mindset, I might have to run back outside, I might have to do this, I might have to do that. So then I don't take it till before it's time for me to come. As long as you bed at night. Okay, so but and because I have because I have right, and so because I have allergies and stuff like that, I want to get that pollen off. I want to do all of that, right? Now, my husband turns around and takes another bath and another shower in the morning. Me, sometimes, not always. I like the shower in the morning. It makes me feel better. Right. So I sometimes I'll jump in for three minutes and just do a quick rinse because I just. I just took a shower at 11 o'clock at night. If I'm waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning and I was only in the bed, what am I doing? I'm, to me, I'm wasting water, right? But it depends, right? So I might jump in the shower, do a quick rinse, go out the door, right? Or I do my bird bath, top to bottom, when I'm washing up, and then I'm still out the door. So that's good enough for me. But I'm that person that showers before I get into the pool. Everybody doesn't shower before they get in the pool. But isn't that the directions that they give you? But people don't follow it. I don't pee in the shower. I know a lot of people that pee in the shower. I yeah, no, we're not shower, doing that. Ooh. <laughs> but you can't tell me the men aren't doing it. Right? I know. But that's why I have this bleach spray thing when I spray in there. Because I'm telling you that's, you know, the toilet right there. Know that they are. The toilet. You know that they are. Honestly, the word that I, I also, I'm going to coin it. It's hyper hygienic. I'm like, y'all be lying. Because there's people right. that are really clean. Especially, I'm watching my TikTok. It's just cleaning videos all day. So if I'm putting on your video and you got one tub and you're filling this with a million chemicals and just scrubbing it. Girl, I know you don't clean in real life. But you're telling people, right. this is how you clean. This is how I know that you're clean. I'm like, no, it's not. And that's why no. we have stuff going and growing on us now. Because we're telling other people, you know, doing this way is how you stay clean and fix it. Put the spray on. Put this on. The sho- Girl, do you know that there's women shoving Starburst in? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. What you say? Yeah. They do. They are taking My mother, candy. Don't you put candy. no blow pops or no nothing up in your vagina. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah that's not because, good. Because you know, again, because, you because, people, because people are getting stuck on the smell. There is a natural smell. The doctor will tell you that there is a natural right. smell. So I've never, because, you know, the vagina cleans itself, I've never been and I was never taught to keep douching. Now, don't get me wrong. I come from them that got the red bag that look like the hot water bottle that you're supposed to hang up on the hook with the white thing that comes through. We won't go there. Mm-hmm. But um, that's still, they were doing their homemade version, whereas the doctor told me when I started going that I didn't have to do that. So I didn't right. necessarily do that. And the few times I tried it, I wasn't very comfortable with it, right? No, because you so, can it out. Yeah. And, and so then therefore... That, I learned about that. There's like, exactly. They pushed that a lot. Like, you guys' generation was pushed a lot. Like, if you guys... A do lot. Exactly. My mom was an RN, and so they bring her stuff to the doctor's office, and she would bring it home, like, cases of Mass and Gill Dush, and you know what? <laughs> you should not be taking that. You know what I mean? Your stuff be tight, squeezed together, itching. You be walking real fast with them Sassoon jeans on that's eight plies, <laughs> and you just, it's like, it's hell. You call it them. Is. Now, we didn't do the bleach in the water. I was allergic to ivory soap. So oh, I God. could not. <laughs> But they did put, they would put that little, they squeezed that liquid ivory, a little bit of dish detergent in, in the water to clean. My family didn't do the bleach thing, but they did put a little bit of detergent and stuff in there. Whereas I couldn't have anything because of my sensitivity from a very young age. I couldn't have anything in the water. So get some regular soap, wash your body off. And, you know, that was it for me. And that's how I, I taught my children. And so they they enjoyed being clean. My son, I did not have to fight him about showering. He was that kid that played all day long, but then he That's wanted to good. take 45 minute showers. <laughs> so, but I saw that, is it Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis? Yes. They were the ones that kind of last year got it kicked off because they, and I think there's a difference between not showering every day versus not bathing at all. I think some people are washing their private parts. They just not taking a full shower every day. 
I just have a hard time. Licking Celeste's face, face. Like, is my face when I was researching this. You know what the funny part is? And I know I, you, I haven't heard, we haven't heard from you, but the things that we do now with our mouths that yeah. we didn't really do before, I'm going to need you to wash all your parts. You know what I'm saying? We just licking and, it, and doing it, rubbing it down. Bird, oh, and no. bird, or whatever y'all call it. Um, that wasn't gonna fly in Joanne or Julia house. You're not gonna be at the sink, um, sure. doing all that. And they know you did it. Let me tell you, they know that you did it because when you need that ring in the sink, that means she was dirty. You need to be in that tub. You know what I mean? You need to be in the tub. That's right. Your butt. Never, you know what I mean? A joke that says like if somebody's coming over and they're like, "Don't come over," and it shows a girl in the sink. I'm like. It's your house, girl. Take a shower. <laughs> like by the time, time you're you taking to do a bird bath, you could have took the shower. You well, see, that's you what I, so and, that, and that's what I learned when you know, as I got older. Like I said, yeah. it it depends on sometimes I go to bed at two o'clock in the morning. I'm not if I'm waking up at seven, I'm not necessarily taking a shower, right? So a quick wash up is fine, but I ain't gonna have no dirty water in the sink either. Yeah. But if I know I need to go ahead and take another shower, I'm gonna jump in the shower and three minutes is all I need to wash head to toe, rinse off, and come on back out. Well, my thing That's now it. is three So guess what? Floors. Guess what? We all, we talked about, because everybody in here clean. We we already can, we, we made a statement. We all clean. <laughs> but it's a whole group of people that have been, so, are we not lying? We got a whole group of people that got a movement that, you know, Lit. Let the body do what the body's supposed to do. You know what I mean? That's okay. what they're saying. Okay, okay. but do you Get smell when you them. do that? Do they smell? <laughs> what you think? Probably so. Probably so. <laughs> it's a natural so. body. Because guess what? If you got big hair pies under here, big poo-poo down, down there, that is going to be a scent, okay? And I'm telling you, them underarms be like flamethrowers. If you don't, I don't know what you, what, what kind of communication you have with that, but I'm telling you, they are the biggest ones that'll get you. You know, some underarms, and you're like, okay, I don't want to shave or do anything. I'm just going to let it naturally burn <laughs> everybody else's face because it is going to be powerful. <clears throat> so it's just, powerful. When you're looking online and you're looking for like a movement, I'm like, you know, that movement that gets pushed the most now is this new generational feminist stuff. And it's just like, we're not going to shave. I'm like, okay, cool. We're going to bleed. Cool. Try to see. Not gonna not gonna like, all right, y'all wildin'. Like, I can't bleed, but grow hair, and then tell men like you have to be with me because if not, then you know you're you're this, you're that. I'm like y'all are wildin'. Like we're gonna hair, have to well, my hair is so beautiful. It, I don't even have like I don't even have like when hair grows under my arms very rarely. I don't have like it's not like a whole lot like. I have less hair than I have now because I don't know. After I had whole day, all my hairy arms and everything fell off. But <laughs> but I still got a lot of hair on my back and legs, you know. And I just don't. I think that hair promotes sweating. You know what I mean? And it, like I sweat in my head. Head. Like I just don't want to have a scent that which we think is natural carry with me all day. That's not going to rest well with me. If you doing that, you you doing it. But I'm just saying, it's just, I, I don't know. Just I mean, You know what they're doing? It's not a good if feeling. If you're not showering, and I saw online that girls are taking their, you know what, juice, and they're using it as perfume. I'm done. Well, I mean, That's at the it. end of the day, the show, at the end I'm of the day, so here's the thing, right? So at the end of the day, that's what they're doing. That means that they're trying to attract someone with that. It ain't because they what, you're, fly? you're doing it. <laughs> or or men. The police. I'm sorry. If I any I'm of sorry. my friends do this, I will call the cops on you. I promise I'm sorry. you. I'm, I'm sorry. That was totally out of line. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, they it's not, supposed I to mean, make men horny or something. I don't I mean that well, here's the thing, right? <laughs> this is what I was told after I started waxing, right? I was told by the, the GYN that there are natural scents and natural things in the hair. That's why pubic hair exists or whatever. There are protections in it, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, that's the case. For me, them protections going to have to just be there at, for week six because at week six, I'm going down to Emma and I'm getting my chocolate I never going to make it to week six, <laughs> but I'm like, telling you, no. Like, but, because I, I can't get, because now I start feeling it when I walk, and I'm like, okay, no, I gotta, I gotta go. But 
I know what they're saying, but they're still talking about a more primitive time, right? So those were natural sense that made a man attracted to you so that they could procreate and all. But we're just living in different times now. So <laughs> Auntie, you ain't never heard that like, when you're on your flow, men, like, like literally my grandma would tell me like the guy we would go, we go like walmart and if a guy tries to talk to me she's like you getting close to your period are you on your period and i'm like grandma what are you talking about she's i like, believe that they come it's at like you a, it's, like a, it's like a pheromone i believe that I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, so you don't need to take it and put it right i don't here. like that smell either and guess what i don't want that if you know if you don't like if you don't like my my chanel or my uh, uh, Herrera. <laughs> it's going to be Chanel. It's going to be You know what I mean? But then we know those. I used, to hear, I, used to, I used to hear down in Louisiana that Michael would come and he put a little bit in your food and that's how they put the roots on you and stuff like Listen, Girl. you just don't know what folks was doing. So that's why I pray over our food, pray over our bodies. Ooh, that's why I don't eat no potluck or none of that kind of stuff because I don't know if everybody, I don't hear that everybody told me about the spaghetti job, thing. None of that. You know about the spaghetti thing and CG told me recently and I was appalled. I was my like, mom told me that. My mom said that they used what? to they used to put a little menstrual menstrual in yep. the spaghetti. That's why I don't that eat spaghetti. I'm glad I do that not eat right. spaghetti. I get heartbreak. Why? That was the why? That because they said that it would make the man love you forever. I don't need you to love I'm me. I'm good. Like that. That's just too much. I don't even know. If, no, I'm good. You could go, boy. I'm good. That's too much. <laughs> so like, yeah. When he told me that, I was like, oh my God. I was like, you animal. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, you but know, yeah, that's you too take far. Care it's true. Guess what? And you, if you put it in there, how you don't know the side chicken go put something in there too? And now they like, both in love with you. Now look at you. That's why our parents <laughs> told you when you get in this house, don't ask to eat nothing. Don't even drink no water at these people's house. <laughs> All right, y'all. This was a good episode, yeah. though. I want you know I want to keep it tight. So um, well, keep it clean. Let me not say that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> keep it clean. Anybody have any final words? This was a funny and good episode. Please don't be a fit I, 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 I do. I do. I do. I, I want to make sure we, we really weren't trying to offend anybody, but I, do, I, I will say this, that taking a shower and washing feels so good. Don't. You know, yesterday I was doing some gardening, finally, and somebody called me and said, yo, you want to go? I said, just give me a minute and take a shower. I wasn't gardening with my feet. I wasn't gardening with my... With my <laughs> but... I was in the sun. I was moving around. So I felt like I just wanted to smell fresh when I left out. So let's just smell fresh. <laughs> well, here's, the thing. Here, here's the thing. If you're not in people's space, then that's fine. It doesn't do you. You don't even have to let anybody know. The thing is, why do you have to justify in, in such a public forum that you that you don't do it? Unless someone has said something to you, then I, that, that's the thing, right? So we all have our own particular habits. We're happen to be talking about this because Jacqueline went down a rabbit hole. Well, the only way to go down a rabbit hole is for it to be there. <laughs> so then people are defending what it is. That, I don't feel the need. I bathe the way I bathe. As long as I'm not offensive to you when you come around me and I go to hug you, I can't be the person that want to hug everybody and then don't bathe. That ain't fair. Oh, yeah, because if you were, you're gonna wonder why the people see you grin wrinkle like this and go the other way. Cause they're not gonna be you can want you can want to hug everybody day and night, Chauncey. They'd be like, uh uh, ooh, sister Chauncey got a little a little it's a little wicked down there. <laughs> Jadlin, you brought us this great episode. So what do you have to say in closing? Now that I'm traumatized, what do they do? Well, huh? What'd she say? She breaking up. What'd you say, um, Celeste? She froze. Celeste? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, what do you have to say in closing? Well, you know me. I'm like, if COVID ever taught you anything, it's to keep it clean, y'all. Like, I don't, I'm not, you know, I saw a lot exactly. of advertisement that was saying that people don't want to smell like uh, you know, lavender roses and a night, one night affair. Like, you know, and I get that. You don't have to smell like vanilla warm cookies all the time. Just make sure you don't smell like, you know, the opposite of that. Um, out of all the compliments I've ever gotten in my entire life, the only compliment that literally makes me like, oh my God, is when people are like, either you smell really pretty or I've had people that are like, you look like you smell really pretty. I'm like, that's 
That's a good compliment. I'll take that's it. That's a good like, compliment. When yeah, I'm around people, they're like, you smell that. really pretty or you look like you smell really pretty. I'm like, that's good because I went down this rabbit hole and I know what the opposite means. <laughs> it means you exactly. look like somebody that don't, don't like to go in the shower. So exactly. I'm telling y'all, ladies and gentlemen, that does feel good. So just go ahead and take a shower. Maybe somebody might tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, that was a this was a cool episode, y'all. So um I don't have any more time. Final thoughts. I feel like this. You everybody do you. And um, you know, I don't know why it's such a big debate, you know. Because you know. And so wash like, your feet in the shower. <laughs> if you're gonna do it once a week, wash your feet in your legs. That's part of your body. I quiz people, I quiz myself. I'm sorry. I said, Preston, when you get in the shower, you you shower everything and he said the water. And I said, <laughs> I said, what you mean the water, baby? See, that's why, you know how when you don't want people to wear their shoes in the house, maybe you want them to keep them on because you know what? If you take them things off and, and flies and stuff start coming and climbing in your house, yeah. you already I know. I can't with none of y'all. I can't with none of y'all. Feet, can't with none of y'all. <laughs> like, okay, in close, I just want to say this one thing. I used to date this guy, like when I was younger, younger, like was <laughs> fine as wine, but I'm telling you, his feet would kill you. I mean, it would just kill you. And I used to be like, um, do you take time to wash your feet? You know what I mean? He was to be well, like, I mean. yeah, because the soap <laughs> run down on my feet. Nobody know. Mm -hmm. That don't work. That was a that was like so much of a turn off. Like, don't never take your shoes off in the house, because especially if my dad too. Oh Lord, you know, <laughs> but that it was just so powerful because you know the feet need to be dry completely, clean yes, and dry in completely. In between the toes. In between yes, the toes. Yes. You know, them funky feet is not yes, like yes. even like sometimes when my husband does so all this outside work, he already know that I'm just like germaphobe. Like I'd be like, take them shoes, put them shoes back there in the in the garage. You know what I mean? He'd be like, but there's nothing wrong with them. I said, I just don't even want them to just start to reap of anything. You know what I mean? I smell <laughs> it before it even starts. He'd be like, Oh smell. wow, yeah. Yeah, I'm just a, you know, that's that's just my thing. But thank you ladies. This was a great episode. So join us every Wednesday when we have a new episode. Check us on our social media the media pages, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, Twitter. Um TikTok, we're on everything. So joining me today is your girl Celeste. I'm Chauncey. And Jasmine. And I'm your girl Kimmy. Have a good week on purpose and we'll see you next Wednesday. Take care. Bye.